Have you ever seen a perfect piece of art in Starving Artists and thought, man, I wish that could be even better? Well, don't worry. Today, I'm going to show you exactly how to improve that art that, you know, looks already good as is, but you know it could look way better. Let me get a booth here real quick so I can show you what I mean. That little bit is still clipping through the ground. What's that about? We're going to go over here. I, I've set up this stuff at my booth because I really like the art that people make of my character. It looks pretty good. Dang, this one looks really good. Like, I I'm really happy with that, but I know dang well it could look better. Get out of the way. Hang on, let me take a picture of this one. All right, now I'm going to show you how to improve this art because it, it looks really good, but like, come on, it could look way better than that. So what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to open up whatever your picture editing program is because you need that. You're going to paste it right in there and there we go. Now follow my mouse. You follow my mouse, you see where it is? Right, you're going to go up here to your effects tab and you're going to go down here to distort. And once you go to distort, you're going to go on down to pixelate. And now we're going to drag that, uh, make that maybe like... I, I think that's real. Yeah, no, a four. No, 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 no. Uh, no, a five looks better. Uh, no, I, I, I think a four is pretty good. We're gonna go with a four. And there you go. That is improved. If I had to say that it was a 10 out of 10 before, it's gotta be at least a 100 out of 10 now. Hey, everyone, Schwalnuts here. Yeah, I'm being petty. What of it? I've noticed that making these videos, a lot more people are starting to hate the blurry art, and I'm so happy about that because it is awful. It is atrocious. So you know what we're doing today? We're gonna make fun of it yet again because I love making fun of printed art. Today, we're gonna be improving art. We're gonna be turning it into the printed art by using our picture editing programs. We're, we're improving it. I think that was enough time for the intro to do whatever the heck the intro was doing, whatever I wanted it to do. This is still clipping through the ground. <laughs> but yes, just because I feel like it, I'm going to be making fun of the blurry art people because there's still people out there that think this is the best art you could ever make. While I was looking in the art game discord server, there was people like talking about the printed art, like negotiating it. Like, dude, how low can you go? This is it freaking limbo? Now, I think there's still room for improvement with this. It looks good as is, but I think that we can make it even better. Let me go back to pixelate right here. That, yeah, no, that that's improved. That is so good. What is that, like two people having a conversation? That's the beauty of it. Whenever you make it so blurry, you can't tell what it is. It's up for interpretation. Maybe that's why so many people make them impossible to understand or look at. What do you want? What do you want? You said hi. Bye, please. Do... <laughs> No. You know that saying that's always like, oh, if you copy my homework, make sure you change it a little bit? Yeah, that's, that's what's going on here. All right, let's see. Wow, that that's just, that's really good. Mm -hmm. you, you, like, you can't get this art anywhere else. We're gonna, we're gonna take a picture of this one real quick. I think I could improve this. We're gonna paste it right over that one. Metal, get out of the way. I need to crop it. There, we're gonna put that right there. I'm gonna be honest, this is just already perfect as is. You know, you don't have to do anything to this one. It It's beautiful as is. But I know that it could probably get better. We're gonna, we're gonna pixelate a little bit more. Um, there we go. Like, you, you can almost tell what that is, but the, the beautiful thing is you can't. I finally get it. I finally get how the people love this blurry art. If you are interested, I can show you some more paintings. No need, I've already seen what you have to offer. Holy crap, they have the, the picture of, of X that I guarantee you look up cool pictures of X and it pops up on the second result. Matter of fact, let, let's see what happens. <laughs> Dude, I... You can't make it up. How helpful were these results on Google search? Uh, they were extremely helpful. Please tell us what you were trying to do. I was trying to pass the time. Thanks for the feedback. You're welcome, Google. Keep up the good work. <laughs> Let's improve this one, actually. This one, this one could be improved big time. I'm pretty sure that I know how to improve this one. And it's as simple as, like, taking this square that's in the void and just, like, doing that. Yeah, no, that's that's improvement right there. That's that's real good. If it looked like that, I mean, dang, I would be buying it. Wait, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. I have an idea. It's a split in image, <laughs> dude. Oh wait, no, no, I see what they did. They took this and they like stretched it down a little bit. Yeah, no, that that's good. That's good right there. Mm-hmm. That's that's perfect. Damn, with this levels of art, you might think I'm printing the art out here. I'm just too good at what I do. What can I say? Hi, I sell the cringe art I create. A <laughs> junky Pikachu. Now that's not cringe, that's beautiful, I'm buying that, I don't even care. So we're gonna take this chunky Pikachu, and uh, let's take a picture of chunky Pikachu here. Uh, we're gonna paste it here, we're, we'll crop it down. Uh, let's resize it real quick. That, that's pretty good, that is really good. And now what we're gonna do is we're going to take this, uh, select about that, that seems about right, that seems good, that's, no, oh, you know what, that doesn't matter, the scripted art, you know what, matter of fact, let's make it like real scripted art here. Let's uh, 
Let's just take it like right there. That's a pretty good spot to the crop, you know, missing out on this entire bit right here because, you know, scripted art does that. Wow. You know, that's, you just, you can't get that anywhere else. That belongs in a museum. No matter of fact, let's put it in a museum. So let's just, uh, let's just zoom in here real quick. We can, we can take that out. We don't, we don't need that. That piece of art, that, that thing, that's, that's useless in comparison to this. We take this and then we keep canvas size and we, there we go. I can't believe that that's in a museum. I can't believe they hung that up there. Man, you can see the detail here. Like right here, you know, this yellow pixel, that has a lot of backstory to it. You can just feel what the artist was going for in that. Is this crossing the line? Am I going too far? <laughs> you know, this stupid art has so many different names. I mean, granted, you know, garbage also has a lot of names. Garbage, trash, rubbish. They have that in common. That's pretty good. But whenever I'm talking about like exploited art, printed art, scripted art, blurry art, it's all the same. It's, you know what I mean. Oh, speaking of improving art, how could I, how could I forget? You know, we gotta go into the auction house. Shut up, Discord. I'm trying to improve art. So you see this Medusa painting? Doesn't that just like, is that an eyesore? Doesn't that just look like shit? Let me improve it real quick for you. Pikachu, I'm sorry, you've done us a great service, but the museum's closed for the day. This just makes me sick looking at it. So I think that's the mindset behind the people that print this art. They see this and they're like, ew, I don't want to look at this anymore. That's exactly what they do. They print it and make it look like this. And then you don't have to look at it anymore because you can't tell what it is. Okay, so I just counted the pixels on this picture. It is 36 pixels big. I'm a liar, okay? This isn't real scripted art. You caught me. I didn't really make this because the canvases are 32 pixels. Nobody asked for this video, but I'm making it anyways. What's this? This is a house. Fabulous house. It could be even more fabulous, all right? Let me let me just improve it for you. So look at this house. It's pretty fabulous, like the painting said, but it's really just missing that, like, extra detail. It, it doesn't have that extra detail, so I'm just gonna get rid of all the details. <laughs> there we go. You can't even make out any details in that now. Oh, wow. A, a thousand Bobux value? Hold on, so you're telling me that this is worth a thousand Bobux? Bucks, no, I can make it worth 10 times the amount. So you got to take your trusty dusty screenshot tool here. You take a picture of that and that's what you got to do. It's got like a, it's got a purple haze to it. Let's get rid of that. Let's click auto level. Oh, that actually got rid of it. I didn't expect it to do that. We're going to go over here to distort yet again, because this is just the best way to make art. It's already worth a thousand bow bucks, but you want to know how to make it worth 10 times that. You see the slider right here? You're just gonna take that and you're just gonna crank that. You're gonna do that. I could slap a million Bobux price tag on that right now and everybody would buy that. You see, uh, hold on. Let me complete this for you. I'll, I'll complete this, this exploited art for you real quick. I'll save you the time. SpongeBob's eyes are gone, but that's not important, I don't think. Ah, uh, you know what? Let's give him some eyes again. We're gonna take the paintbrush tool here real quick. I uh, gotta increase the size of it. Gonna give SpongeBob his eyes back. All right, that's good enough. We don't really have to try with that. It's it's already perfect as is. We're gonna take this picture of the dumpster. Is dumpster diving illegal in Alabama? Is it? For example, it is illegal to go through the garbage in residential areas. While you need permission from commercial property owners, but public property is free game for dumpster divers. Oh, if you live in Alabama and you wanna go dumpster diving, make sure you do it at public property, you know you don't wanna get in trouble. I'm getting sidetracked. <laughs> Take a picture of this. Yeah, that's all we need. Put it behind good old SpongeBob right here. All right, he's peeking out of the dumpster. There's only one thing left I have to do. Look at that. I improved it while finishing it for that person. That, that's awesome. Now, wouldn't you buy this? Oh, wait, hang on. I'm missing one crucial detail. There we go. That's, that's way better. I had to pixelate it, you know, I had to make it fit. Oh wait, I forgot the, I forgot the painting name. I gotta add the painting name real quick. There we go. That's, that's good. There we go. We got the name right there. I don't know why it's pixelated, but you know, you can't win them all. That belongs in a museum. This is the museum that it belongs in. This is where the best of the best art go in this game. Now, did I go too far for that one? Absolutely. But <laughs> was it worth it? Absolutely. For the like couple people that actually clicked on this thinking it was a real tutorial on how to improve your art, I apologize because I know there's probably a few of you that actually thought I was making a legit tutorial. <laughs> this video is dumb. <laughs> there's no point to making this besides just out of spite of the pixel art. But hey, you know, what, what can you do? So yeah, bye-bye. Well,